Well, hello, practicum students. Here we are in the middle of week two, and I wanted to shoot a quick video just to check in with you to, with you guys and to uh, highlight some of the stuff that's going to be due in a little while. But I say due. We do have our first assignment, not really an assignment, but a check-in that will be due at the end of this month. And uh, really just want to make sure that everyone is kind of moving along with the process and where you should be kind of right now in the middle of week two of your practicum, of the first semester of your practicum. All right, so what should you guys be doing at this point? Let's take a look at the course real quick. You should have already gone through these uh, little steps here, practicum steps one, two, and three, got acclimated with this whole thing that we call practicum. And you should have a pretty good idea on your path, whether you want path one or path two. Path one being field-based white paper and the other one being a project that's more in-depth or more intertwined into an institution than a white paper. So what should you be doing right now? You should have, again, gone through all these steps, got a good idea of what this thing is and what you're going to be doing. Uh, and this week especially, you should be having those conversations, identifying first, identifying who your mentor is going to be in the area that you have an interest in, and having those conversations with that mentor about the topic. And I use that word loosely, okay? So kind of break away from that, I guess, the official or uh, hardwired definition of topic. It's the topic, it's the subject, it's the thing, it's the whatever you guys are talking about. In some cases, you might be working on a, a project to improve certain things within a department, division, a hospital, hospital system. Some folks are working on very big projects. Uh, some of you might be working on topics that are of interest that are going to be brought back into a facility, a healthcare facility. That'd be more white paper. But hopefully you are having those conversations, especially this week, okay, with that mentor and coming up with that thing, that, that thing that you're going to center your field-based research around, whether it's a white paper or whether you're working on a project. You definitely want to have that locked down and start on your path by week three, okay? By the end of week three, you want to know, here's what I'm doing, and here's the path one or path two I'm taking to get there. At the, uh, we'll scroll down here a little bit. At the end of the month, your first progress report will be due. That will simply be a cover page saying, here's what I'm doing, and throwing some evidence in there. Notes, maybe an outline, whatever. It doesn't have to be anything super formal. I'm not, I'm really just wanting to make sure that, at, especially at that point, by January 31st, you are up and going in a direction. If you're not, then we have got, you know, we've got to probably talk and, and see what we can do to help, help move things along. Some students, may encounter roadblocks. That can happen. Uh, and that's where you and I will, will, will talk about that. But hopefully, knock on wood, that's not going to happen uh, to any of you at this, at this point. So, um, so that's kind of where you should be right now at the middle of week two, having those conversations, figuring out what the topic or thing is, and then really saying, okay, Here's what I'm doing, and I'm choosing path one or path two to get there. All right, so other than that, that is pretty much all that uh, is really going on with this check-in this week. Hopefully that's, that's more than enough. For those of you who are, some of you I talked to last week, and you guys are on your way, and you already know who you're doing, who's your mentor, what you're doing. You've got all that stuff locked in and you are going like gangbusters. That's great. Uh, and for those of you I did talk to last week, if you are doing the uh, field-based project, okay, which I have tons of video on explaining what that project is, there is your practicum log, okay? That's where you're actually going to log every minute, every 
email that takes the time it takes to compose that every conversation you have with your mentor the time that you're actually doing the work uh, around that project you're going to self log all of that because remember we have to have logged hours of 120 uh, and we're going to you know we have trust in you we know that you're not you're going to do that and we got to log it just to show that we've got got the hours but don't cheat yourself out of every minute that's what we found with some students that they weren't they were not including all of the time that it takes with these projects okay got projects are different than white paper all right oh, i said that a million times i'm talking to the project people every little piece of time they uh they should count they weren't counting any of the meetings they weren't counting any of the emails they weren't counting any of the the phone calls none of that all the zoom stuff none of it so they were missing huge chunks of hours uh, that they could have accounted they were only counting the actual time that they were you know, working on, on actual projects, reports for projects and all that other, that, that kind of stuff. So don't cheat yourself out of it. Make sure you get every minute and use those practicum logs because I will collect those practicum logs as we go along, um, especially when you are doing, going back here. Again, remember, I'm only talking to folks who are choosing Path two right now. Path one, folks, don't listen. Um, but when you do a progress report, you'll throw your log sheets in there. Again, I'm not going to grade. I'm not going to be, um, you know, grading if you only show that you've got 10 hours and you really should have, you know, 20. Um, but let's say come progress report two in the middle of the semester and you've only got 15 hours, we've probably got a problem. And I just want to make sure you're going to be okay because we have to get to 120 logged hours by the end of practicum. And for almost all of you, that end of practicum will be uh, this summer when you take part two. But we still need to get to 120 hours and to do that without you killing yourselves. White paper people, you're completely different. You don't have any log sheets because you are cranking out pages of content. And we use a very generous formula that uh, a single page of white paper content equals so many pages or so many hours, so you don't really need to worry about that. So you guys just can be working on page of co pages of contact, content. All right, there we go. Again, if you have any questions, uh, text me, my text message. Phone number is listed in the course. Uh, don't hesitate to do that. But uh, so far, um, this week has been pretty quiet with you guys and hope everything is going well and everybody is staying safe. And I'll check in with you later. Thanks. Bye.